fake Viper. So I was about to go on Facebook, right? So I can troll C Dot again. And I see this pussy ass nigga C Dot has me blocked. And he really blocked me like two, three days ago. But bro, it only took 48 hours of trolling to get this fucking clown to block me. And on top of that, guess who he sent to say something to me before he blocked me, right? Take a wild guess. He sent his baby mom. I could, I literally could not believe it. Number one, why in the fuck would you send your baby mom? Number two, he really thought I was going to argue with her. He must have lost his damn mind. And she came at me on like two separate accounts. I blocked her with the speed of light. What do I look like going back and forth with this baby mom? Like I'm still perplexed right now. And he thinks I'm slow, right? But he's, I, I have a feeling, I don't know for sure, but I feel like he's making all these fake ass accounts to talk to me to try and take the tech type video down nigga you're weird i'm not editing or taking shit out you should have thought about that before you handled things the way that you did you can make as many fraudulent accounts as you want i'm not falling for it bro i'm telling you i was gonna tactically troll him for six months tactically scientifically psychologically break him the fuck down and this bitch only lasted 48 hours I had five months and 25 days left of trolling to do. He messed everything up. I can't believe that, man. But with that being said, welcome back to another episode of Glockchester Stories, a series about Rochester, New York. So today we're going to be talking about TGS once again, but more specifically, Trial and PG. Now, a few fan pages have been hitting me up for a minute now, so I knew I had to make a part two. So let's talk about TGS. Now, I'm not going to lie. I knew TGS was real, but I kind of doubted them because all the news articles I was reading about the nines had me convinced that they were hands down, undoubtedly the biggest demons in the city. Then these fan pages hit me up. Then I started watching the uh, best POV TGS interview and I learned a lot about them. One huge thing is that TGS stands for the Taliban Gang Snipers. And there's also a couple members that I missed, which are TGS Mir and Trey. Now, I got to say this. I'm sorry, but TGS Mir seems slow as hell. Now, number one, he has a gun with an extended clip hanging out of his hoodie pocket. Right. Am I tripping or is that like the dumbest place not only to put a gun, but anything? Right. If you put your phone in your hoodie pocket in the front, it's falling out nine times out of ten. So I don't know why you put it there. And then on top of that, later in the interview, it falls on the ground. Oh, listen. I mean, he had to be fried because everyone in the room except Best POV is smoking. But anyway, TGS Trow is really a demon. In the interview, he was talking about beating people up in jail, violating his ops, and a few other stories like that. But one of the TGS fan pages put me on to something about Trow. Now, Trow allegedly shot a homosexual oppa named Reek Oppa in the chest. Reek Oppa survived the gunshot wound and is currently in jail for a charge that I'm not sure of. After that incident, Trow allegedly got into a shootout with cops and was arrested. He ended up getting bailed out for that incident, but was arrested again soon after for what I would assume is a gun charge. Hey, like I said, I didn't think Trow was like that, man, but you know, he is, you know, allegedly, of course. Some of his most popular songs are Caught Me a 9, 7.9K, and Fall Back, but his most recent song is called Lost Bro. Now, before I forget, so the TGS fan pages will stop harassing me, there's a clip where it appears as though an unknown TGS member makes Key Blick skedaddle from the premises. Bro, who you smoking on, man? Now, I can think of a couple reasons as to why Key Blick left the premises in such a quick fashion. Maybe he was late for a doctor's appointment. Maybe he double parked and didn't want to get a parking ticket. Maybe he was going to the car so we can grab the... There's plenty of reasons, you know, so let me know in the comments what you think happened in that clip. But back to TGS Troll, he's definitely a demon. I will not doubt him again. Hopefully he gets free and then sticks to music. Now moving on to PG, who is also one of the top orders in TGS. So judging from his Facebook, he appears to be free and dropping music. Lil Beam is his little brother, so he's a shooter by association. 
And according to the streets, at one point he was shot in the leg. In the same week, he allegedly went to his ops block and... I've also been told what he says in his lyrics are true, and if it is, man, that's crazy because he says some wild stuff in his songs. Some of his most popular songs are Wreck, No Hook, and Geeked. The last project he dropped is called Certified Member and has five songs on it. And the most popular song on the project is G-O-M-D, which means get off my dick. Tell them niggas to get off my dick. I was on crutches, booming off the whip. Any situation, I'm a click. That thing easy with me, come out the backyard. Try to run it, got hit in the shit. So that is Trell and PG. Definitely some very interesting guys. And I definitely want to see what they're going to do in the future. With that being said, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Glockchester Stories. These were two very highly requested TGS members. What do you guys think about them? Who should I talk about when I make a TGS part three? Like, comment, subscribe. Big Viper, I'm out, man. Peace.